Cheesecake? No, I'm alright. This is Matt. Alright. Grip trainee. Who knows what I do? Very good point. Today I'm going to review Sunflowers, the new film by David Bickerstaff, who is a documentary filmmaker who often does exhibition on screen kind of films. Uh, and this one is about Van Gogh's Sunflowers, so let's have a quick look at the trailer. In this particular documentary, David Bickerstaff focuses on five series of sunflowers, which is uh, which are located around the world. And the places are Amsterdam, Munich, Philadelphia, Tokyo, and London. Um, and we go into the museums that actually um, curate and hold the sunflowers pictures. And we talk to uh, various members of staff um, who look after the, the famous paintings. Um, but what we do is get a real deep dive into the history of sunflowers. You know, what, what actually made Van Gogh want to paint these particular flowers. And we also get a massive history about the sunflower plant. I didn't know that the sunflowers, I didn't know that sunflowers themselves were flowers that were brought over from the Americas uh, into the UK in probably, I don't know, 15, 1600s essentially. I can't remember quite now, but it's in the documentary. Um, and it's really fascinating to sort of understand the history of sunflowers, you know, what really fascinated Van Gogh about these particular plants, why he was drawn to them essentially, no pun intended, but really why these, these particular paintings have held such regard in the art world. Um, and that all comes to the fruition in this particular documentary. The director takes excerpts from uh, Vincent's famous letters to his brother Theo, but also letters to his sister. Um, he was obviously a massive letter writer and communicated with his family very well. Who and it does seem that that and it does seem his family did look after him over the number of years that he was alive. More importantly, I think this documentary brings you closer to the artist. Uh, if you're a massive Vincent van Gogh fan, then you're going to really love this documentary. I was drawn into his paintings from a very early age, and for me it's about the, the intensity of his artwork, um, the brush strokes that he uses, to the colour that he uses, and so for me to have a deep dive into these particular series of paintings is what I really, really enjoyed about the particular documentary. If you're not a Vincent van Gogh fan, you're probably less going to you're probably not going to enjoy it as much, but as a lover of art, you would probably enjoy this documentary, even if it is about Van Gogh and you don't like Van Gogh. But I do think that it's really important to understand the idea of what informs an artist, what draws him, what makes him want to go towards a particular ideology. And I think that's what comes across in this documentary, which is really vital for um, art lovers and people who aren't as much art lovers as myself. The film is superbly shot. I mean, one thing about it being an exhibition on screen is that that is what comes across. And what's great about that is the fact that, you know, you really feel closer to the paintings, that it's shot in kind of a beautiful, I think they may have shot at 920 by 1080, I'm not sure, but I saw in the stills, that uh, the production stills that they basically use C300s. Uh, so I'm probably sure they were shooting at 4K for you to be able to see the in-depth strokes of every single painting that they portray in this documentary. That's done really, really well. Another thing they did is they actually did dramatic reconstructions of Vincent van Gogh and they got an actor to play Vincent van Gogh thinking and looking towards certain areas around France, for example. But for me, sometimes dramatic reconstructions don't really work. In this case, it does because I think they didn't they didn't over caricature Vincent van Gogh himself. So the actor playing Vincent van Gogh does quite well and I think this, it's reflective enough and not too much, which is great. I'm a massive Vincent van Gogh fan anyway, I always have loved his work from an early age and um, I have to say that if you are interested in other Vincent van Gogh films which I really enjoy, um, check out Loving Vincent which is an animated artistic um, film which is beautiful and every cell is kind of painted in the style of van Gogh, it's by loads of artists around the world, they all kind of did individual cells for the film. And you can't deny William Defoe's portrayal of Vincent van Gogh in At Eternity's Gate which is also worth checking out. All in all, this documentary is a fine film. David Bickstaff is a director, a documentary director that you should definitely, definitely check out. Um, 
I would like to say, you know, seeing the film on a massive cinema screen, now that cinemas are now sort of starting to open again, would be vital for this film. I watched this on a big screen TV, so I was quite happy watching it at home, but I think it'd be really well enjoyed in a cinema, so it does have that cinematic feel of seeing this massive exhibition on screen, which is great. So do check out Subclass, it's going to be released on the 8th of June uh, in UK cinemas nationwide. Thank you for watching my video on sunflowers. Um, if you'd like to see more content on this channel, please click around. I'll put some things and links everywhere. There's going to be some stuff in the description as well. Please like, please subscribe, and hopefully I will see you on the next video. Cheers.